let me start by telling you a story. It's about a professor one day who gave an impromptu test to his students. He placed a piece of paper face down and then asked them to turn it around. The students were surprised. All they had was a white sheet of paper with a black dot in the middle. The professor then asked them to describe what they saw. And the student's response was focused on the black dot, its position, its size, and so on. No one described the abundance of white, the good things in life. They only focused on the black dot, problems of the day. Now Sri Lanka has an abundance of white. We have fish all around us in the oceans, soil all over the country that anything will grow, little below the soil gemstones, little below the water beautiful coral and fish, waterfalls for hydroelectric, sunlight for solar, majestic scenery, ancient culture, heritage sites and highly intelligent and educated people such as yourself. So why are we in this mess? Why are we focusing only on the back dot on our financial bankruptcy? And how did it all come about? Well, what happened was that at the end of World War II, the colonial powers were depleted of resources. They really could not control the colonies. So in a sense, they pretended to give us independence, but really they couldn't control us anymore with a gun. But what they decided was to control us in a different way. They set up the World Bank, the IMF, to supposedly help us with loans for development. And they then turned a blind eye when corrupt politicians and dictators stole this loan money around the world, okay, not only in Sri Lanka. Africa, in fact, became a source of raw materials and Asia became coolies with their cheap labor. We allowed ourselves to be sucked into this new world order because we had a mindset that we should follow what our previous colonial masters said we should do. The overall theme of my message today is that those in Sri Lanka, especially professionals such as yourself, entrepreneurs and those working in the land need a change of mindset and a need to develop a can-do attitude. At a time when the world sees us as a bankrupt nation with endemic corruption, Sri Lankans need to take note of the things we are grateful for rather than the things that we lack. We need to rejoice in our land, our people, our resources, our natural beauty and our culture, things that we have in abundance. We need to focus, therefore, on the white all around us. The funny thing about life is that once you begin to take note of the thing that you are grateful for, you begin to lose sight of the thing that you lack. If our mindset is defeated, the result will be the same no matter how often we try to better ourselves. And we certainly should not wait for someone else to change things for us. No local politician, no foreign power, or international monetary fund is ever going to save us. Sri Lanka has had a big mood mentality for years. Enough is enough. We need to do it ourselves from the ground up. Therefore, CMA graduates, it's crucial that you check your attitude. Make sure that your attitude is working for you, not against you. There is limitless value in having a positive, empowered and optimistic attitude. Choose wisely which attitude you, yourself, will give life to. Create your own happiness. Don't depend on others. Live your own life. Begin where you are. Don't wait for someone else to change things for you. Do it yourself. Then apply this learning to change the mindset of others around you. First their heads and then their hearts. That is the power of one. Thank you very much.